Hi, you guys. It's Stephanie with Coffee, Paper, Scissors. I'm finished with the insides of the train journal and I've put it together. And now I'm going to decorate the front and I thought I would bring you along for that. I'm going to show you really quickly what I got my inspiration from. Okay, so this is on my little... Um, okay, my, my light is right there. Um, okay, so this is from Pinterest. I'm going to be trying to do some of this, not all of it. Um, not the background. I'm going to leave all of this as is. I'm not going to try and do all of that. I don't have everything necessary. But anyway, um, Deco Art Blog, and it's a faux rusty metallic wooden train frame if you want to you know, look that up at some point. So that is where my inspiration came from. And I have taken a picture, I've kind of, you know, done a mock-up and taken a picture of it. So I'm gonna pull up my picture. Cause you know how it is, you, you start to do something and you totally forget. <clears throat> okay, so I have the original book and then I made a, I think it's like a two and an eighth inch um, spine. And I put it together with fabric. I put grommets um, through the fabric before I glued it in. And I did that on the front and the back. And then I left the, the sewing stuff, you know, visible. And I put this thing here. I, I didn't think buttons would look right. Um, I wasn't able to find anything that I thought that would look right here on the spine. So this is how I did the spine. Let me get this kind of maybe in the center and then just leave it. Okay, so my friend Ardith sent me, since her um, husband has a train, you know, set that he is building, uh, you know, like a model train town and stuff. She sent me some of his extras. So that was, you know, very, very cool of her to do that. And so I'm going to cut these. Uh oh, where did I put the cutters? Oh no, I have cutters. I grabbed them. Where did I put them? Oh, here they are. I was like, oh, I left them in the kitchen. Um, I have some jewelry ones and I tried cutting them with the jewelry ones. That didn't work. And I'm going to be gluing things down with Glossy Accents and E6000. The E6000 smells so bad. And so I didn't want to necessarily use um, too much of it. So, all right. I just noticed this one. Some of their, their angled, you know, so that you can make very cool track, you know, layouts and stuff. So I want flat, flat so that it'll lay down on my book. Okay. And I just lost my picture. Okay. All right. So let's get started. I have some gears that I've had a while. I honestly think that they're probably Tim Holtz, but um, when I was at the store the other day looking, I did not see that they still had them, but that doesn't mean you can't still get them. I don't know if they're Tim Holtz. I have no idea because I've had them for a while. These, are these ones the same thing? I found some of these at Joanne Fabric in the buttons. And um, they're very cool. They're plastic. And they are, I kept the little packaging, La Mode. And it's 55000-1810. If that is something that you're interested in, I would imagine you can order them. There's 20 pieces in there. So that's very cool. And then I also grabbed a few things from my husband's, not very many, from my husband's bits and pieces, um, but not very many. I'm going to do a little bit of layering, uh, but I don't want it to be too bulky. And I'm just going to kind of lay some things down before I actually glue. 
Okay, so I'm gonna cut, I think I'm gonna cut this one here. And it cuts pretty, pretty easy. I don't know, there's probably some fancy tool for this sort of thing, but. Okay, I did it earlier. Now I can't do it. Oh no. Okay. Okay, I got it. And then I will just glue it down. I probably should have cut that end off, but that's okay. I lost my picture again. Okay. And I'm just going to keep a little brush here to knock things off as they land. So for this, I think I'm going to do the E6000. Okay. And then also, I have some little pieces that I made just from black um, a card, you know? It heavy, like a chipboard, black chipboard. And then I just ran some ink of gold over it. I, I have a small hole punch that I punched some little holes in it. So one of these. And just made it look like uh, like a little rusted metal piece. So I'm going to add that there. Maybe, maybe somewhere. Let's see here. I want to kind of, you know, have a few things down before I totally glue so that I don't, I don't, I just don't want to glue things in the wrong place. Because once it's down, you know, I don't want to cover up my, my train either. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with my train, but I feel like I might, no, I want it long. I'm, I'm gluing this one. I'm going to glue that down. I think I'm going to do that with the E6000. Did I mention how much it, <clears throat> it stinks? So whenever I use this stuff on my journals, I the smell of this glue is in my craft room for days. And I always feel bad when I I send the, the journal out to someone and I hope that the smell is gone by the time they get it. I mean, I don't use it on my journals very often, but when I have something... Um, such as this that I'm gluing down. It certainly does not smell good. So. But um, it's going down and then there's nothing I can do about it. And then I think I'll do the E6000 on this because it's actually metal. It's pretty heavy. <coughs> <clears throat> I have a frog in my throat. So we'll we'll do it on this as well. Sometimes I I'm uncomfortable, you know, if things are gonna stay stuck down or not, and so I will do a little sanding on the back, but I've never had anything fall off, so um I'm sure it's probably fine. Okay. It's touching everywhere. I see just a little string of glue there. Um, sorry, guys, I'm looking for oh gosh, little tweezers, but you know, I'm never gonna find them. Why would them? Why would I find them? I know they're here. They're always right here. I just don't want that strung across there like that. Okay, I got it. This one I don't mind. There's a little one down in there too, but I don't mind that one so much. 
Okay, so I want to layer this one up because that's fairly plain and flat. So I'm going to I'm going to layer it up with some glossy accents. I hope this works. I don't know, you guys. I'm so afraid. Okay, well, it's not going anywhere anytime soon, so I'll go ahead and poke that on there. I don't know. Yeah, I always get really nervous about it. And then it's touching here on each little, what is that, sprocket? Is that what that is? I did one before with um, a journal before where I used this sort of thing. And I just, I didn't have any E6000 at the time, so I just used glossy accents. And for several days um, before I sent it out, I would sit and like flick at them to make sure they stayed in place. And they did. So I'm fairly confident you know, that it's going to be okay. I lost my picture again. And I hope I'm recording. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue this down. Make sure I'm recording. Yes. Yeah, I just Googled mixed media train art and oh my goodness, some beautiful things came up. Mixed media artists are just so impressive to me. Okay. And we'll go ahead and put this down. I'm putting a lot, but you know, better safe than sorry. And then I have these, let's see, these little guys were in the Tim Holtz section and they were on clearance the other day. So I grabbed these. I was gonna put one of those right in here, I think. I think I'll do the E6000 for this one. It's just like a flat, flat backside and I don't know. You know, there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just doing, I'm about to lose my picture. So anything that just kind of comes loose, if anything comes loose, I will go back and stick it down with the E6000. I think I'll put this one kind of right down in here. I'm putting the, the glue where the little holes aren't because it just kind of squirted out the holes on the other one. I'm not doing a closure on this one. It stays closed on its own just fine. So, isn't this one cute? This is in the little um, Lamode uh, ones from Joanne Fabric. I was just amazed. I mean, I guess you can use them as a button, but I don't know. I wouldn't think of them as a button. But I'm glad they had them there. I'd probably go back and get some more. They were only, I think, $3.99, and I believe they were on sale, so, or even if they weren't, I mean, that's not a terrible price, and you can always wait for them to go on sale. Okay, and so then I'm going to use this little guy, and we'll do the E6000 on this one.
once I drop it, I'm just kind of like, oh gosh, I don't know. Okay. And then my glossy accents is sitting there open. I don't want it to dry out. Okay, so then I have this one I was going to put up in this corner. Make sure you guys are sort of in frame. I hope, hopefully you saw what I did. I'll, I'll move it around here and there as I, as I go. We'll go ahead and put this down so that I can get more railroad track up to it. Not, you know, so that this has room. I don't want it to not have room. string of it going across there okay so I want that up in the corner and now I need more train track so this has a little broken end on it let me see if I can cut it a little bit better this time is that gonna fit there yes If I could get my there's probably a tool for this and I, I'm sure I already said that but I do not have the tool for it I kind of go back and forth with it oh man I broke okay so I'm gonna have to just glue that down Don't break it off, Stephanie. Okay. And then I want to cut I think I want to cut Okay, that happened better than the other time. Mm, something flew. I'm going to have fun cleaning up after all of this. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. Let's go ahead and glue that down. Oh, so um, it's been a week already, you guys, since my daughter and I went for the college tour. I was just saying to her this morning, can you believe it's already been a week? I mean, I don't even know what, how, you guys, I don't even know. Where do the weeks go? It is crazy. Um, but anyway, we had fun. It was a very, very, like, quick, quick weekend, and we were so tired, let me get this down. I don't know that I can talk and lay it down at the same time. Yeah, we were so tired. Oh my goodness, from all the walking. Okay, so the school that we went to go see is the one that I went to. And, um... It was just so weird being back there after all these years. I've been back to the town, but I've never been back on campus um, that I can remember. I Maybe I have, but there's really been no reason to. Or I think maybe there were some people I visited once or twice because, um, you know, I had a job on campus. And sometimes when I would drive through, I might stop and visit people that I had worked with. Um, I think maybe that happened, but otherwise, I just had not been back there. I'm going to leave that just because this is so hard to cut. I don't want to make it any harder on myself. I'm going to see about bringing it all the way over to here. 
Um, but anyway, yeah, like the place that I worked, we parked near there and the building is exactly the same, which was really weird. And I figured they would have done something to it by now, would have. Um, but, but they hadn't, you know, I mean, not that they needed to or anything. It was fine, but I just figure everything changes. And so I figured they would have done something to it, but they hadn't. And then the dorms that I lived in were also right there. And those were exactly the same. And we went inside for, um, we toured a bunch of dorms and those have been redone, except the ones that I lived in, they were, I mean, you guys, it was the same furniture. I mentioned this before we went, I said, well, I'm sure they've at least changed the furniture. The furniture is the same. Um, they had, I mean, new, new mattresses, but because I had, I, they showed us like an empty room and there were new mattresses on the beds. And then there was one room that they showed us where the girl let us see her room that she lives in and her side was decorated, but the other side was empty and it had a new mattress. So the mattresses aren't 30 years old. So that's a good thing. <laughs> But um, they they have like these built-in oak captain beds and desks and um, a built-in uh, dresser, I mean, closet. And they are the same. They are exactly the same ones. I was like, you're kidding me. I'm just going to look at this from an angle to make sure the glue is touching. And I think think that it is. You know how, you know, books kind of get a bend in them? Okay. Anyway, it was so weird to walk into a place that you hadn't been into. I made several of these. I had not been in there, you guys, I'll tell you the truth, for 30 years. And it was to see the exact same thing was so weird. I'm going to have to, what am I going to do here? Cause it, there's like fabric, you know, but I want it to come over a little ways. I'm going to have to do the E6000 on this one so that the bend will, anyway, that was really weird. Um, but it was fun. And my daughter was very excited. Uh, you know, the apprehension when you just kind of don't understand how something works or what something looks like in person or what a, you know, if you've never been on a college campus and just you maybe you drive past, you know, we drive past college all the time in Spokane. There are colleges that we drive past, but we don't go on campus. We just drive past them. And so you don't have that comfort of knowing, you know, really what to expect. And so it really helped to, you know, get her excited about it. And then to also kind of ease a little bit of, I don't know, worry, you know, I'm going to probably put a bulldog clip on this, or maybe even just a, I don't know, I feel like a bulldog clip might be too tight. I don't know. It's not going to dry right away, so I'm going to leave it for right now. Um, we, so we didn't go into any of the actual classroom buildings. Those were all closed since it was Saturday. But we toured several dorms. Um, we were in the student union building. They don't call it that anymore. Um, but we were in there for a long time. And they had several um, you know, join this club, join this club kind of things, um, for us to look at. And she was excited about some of those. This is an actual rusty washer that I found. I don't know if I like it. Um, what else? We ate in the dining hall, but it was you know, brunch kind of stuff. So it wasn't the normal what you would be eating in the dining hall on a regular basis. They always do brunch on Saturday, but um, let's see. Those are all stuck down. I need to stand up. 
see what I'm looking at here. I think I like that. Did I glue that down? No. Okay, I'm gonna glue those down. Um, what else? She liked town. It was very cute. You know, I, I always liked town. Um, she was concerned about that. She really wants to go somewhere where it's a little greener and it is not necessarily greener than here in the Spokane area. But um, she has never lived somewhere where it rains all the time. And I just am concerned. She thinks she wants to go over to the west side of the state. You guys, it rains so much. And she just, you know, she doesn't know what that's like. I lived over there for a while. And for someone who grew up on the dry side of the state to live over on the wet side, it gets old. Let me tell you what. It did for me anyway. I mean, I know some people probably don't mind it. But when you're walking to class, ugh, yuck. But whatever she wants to do, you know, I will be okay with, you know, that. She can do what she wants to do. But, um, you know, I just want to give her plenty to, to be aware of or to think about, you know thinking just to kind of offset one over here because this is very flat. Let me see what else I have. So this is the little thing that the these came in. I might put one of those somewhere. Only one of them will fit down in those. Well, I think I'm going to put this up here. Let's see here. I want it. Kind of there, I think. I'm thinking about what I'm doing here. So I feel like I'm not talking about the, um, the tour well enough. <laughs> I'm not giving, you know, the scoop on how it was. Um, it started at 10, but we got there at 9, and we walked campus, and I just pointed out the different buildings and, um, you know, what things were called, and, you know, here's this, here's that, and then we went to the the student union. The, they call it the Student Union Recreation Building now. Okay, I'm going to have to put something on there to hold it down. This one isn't glued down yet. And so then we had several people spoke to us and talked about campus life and activities and groups and classroom size and all that sort of thing. cheerleaders were going and anyway it was fun it was fun for me <laughs> it was lots of fun for me I don't like how shiny that these are this one's a little grungy I don't know if I want to put anything on these I don't know. Okay, well, there's lots of things glued on at this point. I don't know how it looks for you guys. I think that's all glued down. I am going to call that good for now. I might play with it a little bit more, but I'm not sure. Um, I should be able to do... A flip through as long as it's all dry I should be able to do a flip through for tomorrow but I definitely need to put some bulldog clip of uh, a bulldog clip up on this one it's just not it's not grabbing now it is okay 
probably sit something on here to make that grab. I feel like this is a total scatterbrained. I'm making sure everything's glued down. I feel like this is a total scatterbrained um, video trying to talk and decorate at the same time. Sorry about that. But I do think it's pretty cool looking at this angle. Um, I had thought about, you know, putting something on the, but I, I don't know. I don't know yet. We'll see. I don't want to mess with the strings. So anyway, you guys, there is the front. Hopefully, you know, I will be able to show the inside tomorrow and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye.